and welcome to part two of uh, Cody Guitar's Three String Cigar Box lesson for uh, Prodigal Son. Uh, great song this one. It's uh, It was originally written by uh, Reverend Robert Wilkins but famously covered and put on the Beggar's Banquet Rolling Stones LP from the late 60s. So uh, we've done part one and uh, I would strongly recommend that you, you make sure you're okay with those two parts um, that we looked at in part one of the, of the song because it, it is actually quite challenging this this particular arrangement um, mainly for your right hand uh, rhythm playing so um, very quick recap but I'm, I'm not going to cover this again in this lesson so the main hook was So that, that keeps cropping up. Um, there's a little bit of um, maybe sort of like claw hammer influenced banjo style strumming, quite a lot of, sort of down, downstroke playing, um, but some like picking up picking as well. So it can be a little bit strange to be um, sort of like doing some strumming with your, your index finger, but then um, like sort of pit picking with your, your middle um, in the middle of it. Uh, and then there was a, what, what you'd class as like the turnaround as well. <clears throat> um, so a lot of blues turnarounds kind of descend. This one is ascending up to a G. So uh, in this particular tuning, we'll do the tuning in a minute, uh, fret five on the middle D string is a G. So it's, it's working its way up to um, like the root. We're in the key of G. Uh, so that would be... And then straight back into that main hook that we just did. So, join together. Okay. Um, so, yeah, definitely make sure that you can play those two parts because they, they, they keep reoccurring in, in the song. Uh, so, let's just do the tuning quickly just before we uh, continue. So, G, D, and... G. So, um, as I said in part one, um, the original, well, the, the Stones version uh, was uh, in open E tuning um, on the acoustic guitar on a six string. So I've adapted it and uh, put it into the key of G just so we can we can stay in this sort of standard <laughs> tuning. And um, it starts on a C chord. Um, there's, the, there's some sort of noodling at the beginning, but I've, I've left that off. Uh, we, we, we're just going straight into where, where the rhythm kicks in in the song. And uh, it starts on a C chord. There's only two chords in the whole song. Um, and uh, on three string cigar box, that is a C. Uh, but this particular one works much better for the song. Um, so we've got fret two on the middle D, and we've got fret five on the low G. And then we've got an open, open G as well. So, um, whenever I've got finger one lower down, uh, like physically lower down, say on the, the, the high G or the D string, uh, I, I feels like I can actually sort of cradle the neck a bit. I can sort of be touching the neck a bit with the, the palm of my hand, and I can sort of hook my fingers around and get a good angle. Um, and it, it doesn't impede um, the, the other notes and things. Um, if it was the other way around, I may well be getting my wrist more involved, if you can see that. But um, for this one, um, I, can, I can just sort of hold it in a bit more of a comfortable position. Okay. So uh, what we're doing at the beginning, um, very simple strumming. I'll, I'll cover what's happening on the left hand in a minute. But um, basically that sort of claw hammer style strumming is thumb, strum, thumb, strum, thumb, strum, thumb, strum. So that's just uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it just, just goes back to that main hook again. Okay, so as we're doing this with our right hand on the C, um, the left hand is... doing this.
this this rhythm um, it's like pull-offs basically uh, you're trying to pull off with two fingers at the same time um, <clears throat> if, if this is difficult then just just leave it out it still drives it nicely just keeping the sort of simple rhythm going that we just looked at but um, it's uh, one two So every second strum, so basically uh, after not the thumb pick but the main strum, you do a pull off. So so um, having that sort of cradle there, that position, it almost gives you a little bit of a um, bit of leverage to be able to sort of flick off with two fingers at the same time because you, you might find that a bit tough. So I'm uh, I'm using the base of my um, index finger um, just just so that I can sort of just flick off. It's like a sort of hinge almost um, for, for for those two to move move at the same time. Um, and um, th there's another. Um, it's actually quite a sort of like beginner level lesson, but there's another um, lesson on basic fretting, which includes uh, a reasonable amount on hammer-ons and pull-offs. So um, feel free to check that out um, if if you want to, uh, if if you need to become more accustomed with that. But um, we'll try that one more time, and then we'll move on. So it's uh, it's basically um, twice round C to the main hook, and then back to C to the main hook again. Uh, and then actually to complete the intro, just up until you start singing the verse, you then just do the turnaround. That bit, okay? So C, main hook, C, main hook, turnaround. So we're gonna do all of that. So one, two, three, four. Turn around. Okay. The verse. Um, so this is what we've got the slide on. We can we can um, sort of copy the um, as much of the vocal lines we can manage, fitting it around everything else that's going on, and play play it with the slide. So it's a relatively simple vocal line um, melody. Uh, you, you you can just slide into fret three. Okay, so I'm starting around fret two. Slide up. Uh, I'm trying not to arrive. I'm trying to make the note constantly be moving up until the point where I take it off and go to another note. So instead of letting it hang, it sounds more bluesy that way. So um, try and control the speed of the slide so that you never quite, or you just arrive before you pluck the next note, before you move to the next note. Uh, so he does that twice and then and then three more um, slides, but in a very similar way, so slightly um, short space in between them, um, and that's that's it really. Uh, and then it goes to a, a C chord. Um, so how we fit that alongside the sort of constant uh, accompaniment? Um, uh, lots of pulls and then notes in between. Um, so as with all of the other songs and exercises we've been doing, the thumb is just sticking on the beat. So your melody is either with it as a pull or in between. Okay, so we've got pull, thumb, that open G is in between. So it's pull, thumb, and then another thumb just afterwards and then after that we can actually just to keep the momentum going we can we, we, we can play open uh, D with our index finger so we're, we're plucking this with our middle finger the um, the, the slide note um, so it's pull thumb middle thumb 
index thumb. you just do that twice and then uh, the notes become closer together so another pull to start with and then there's uh, three offbeat in between notes afterwards so it's pull, thumb and the final one is back to an open G probably actually work if you slid into to each of, of those three so two three four in between in between okay I'll just do all of that so two three four in between in between And then just to um, keep it within the, the same rhythmical feel as what we've been doing up until this point, um, we can go back to our sort of strumming style. So uh, just that second half is. Go straight back to the strumming. So after that, strum, thumb, up, strum. And then uh, just before we change to the C chord, we're going to do that fast bit one more time. Okay. On to a C chord. And then what we're doing, we're mostly picking this uh, with like up, up picks, separate strings. And straight away there's two pulls. So the, the thumb, thumb's just staying on this low um, G. Uh, index finger, middle finger. So index finger plucks the, the D string, and then middle finger plucks the high G. And then I'm going to go back in with the uh, in-between with my uh, middle finger, sorry, index finger. And then I'm going to go back onto a pull with my middle. What we're doing here is that's... That sort of pick, picking out what the melody is doing roughly, um, and and so if possible, you can try and add your second finger in on fret three of the top string just just to pick out another melody note. Now this 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 is a bit awkward. Uh, if, if you find that difficult, then just leave it off. Uh, I mean, it sounds better with, but it will sound absolutely fine without. Uh, we can, we can just play an extra open G instead of changing it to that that fret three note there. Again, if it's difficult, leave it. Um, but putting it in, we've got pull, pull, thumb, index, thumb, pull with my middle, thumb, there it is, so it's in between. So there's a pull uh, with my middle finger, and then middle finger again, but with that note on. So pull, fret three, and then back to open G again. So, so there's lots of like finger, middle finger is going, uh, is, is plucking that three times. So we've got pull in between, in between, pull in between, in between. And then because it's um, the vocal line, I mean, we're, we're not like physically able to use the slide here with this particular shape but because it's the vocal line we could we could finish it off uh, with the slide um, just because uh, we're not actually using the slide that much so we want to get it back in there if we can um, and that that's just on uh, beat one um, so the vocal line is, is basically it's, it's, it's a nice very sort of typical bluesy sound it works really well it's going from that um, that note there um, to that note so so it's it's even though it's across two chords it's almost playing around with that sort of major and minor thing that you typically get in blues um, so uh, we'll play that which is fret 4 uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll play that um, with the slide because we're, we're, we're 
back to um, an open G chord now, so we can, we can put this in just on uh, fret four of the top string and strum the other two strings. Uh, one one little thing, um, there is uh, a, a beginner um, lesson on just sort of basic slide technique, um, looking at sort of how to get a good tone out of it, and, and specifically like angles at which to approach specific strings. Um, so if we if we're playing on string one, uh, it's it's quite good to um, basically angle not not too much that you catch the um, frets, but a little bit. So. It's, it's potentially not going to interfere with the other strings. Okay, so if you see, I'm I'm definitely sort of a, a, a slightly diagonal angle there when I'm just playing string one. So one more time from the C, we've got pull, pull in between, pull, and then. Back to the hook, back to that same hook. Only difference being we've just put that in on beat one. So we've got to try and piece both of those together because it goes backwards and forwards in between the C and uh, that hook on the G uh, two times in the um, in the structure. So we've got pull, pull, in between, pull, in between, in between, one. Only do it twice, um, but I would definitely do that quite a lot because that's that's um, quite quite fiddly there. Uh, the only other thing you can do there is you can you you you, you can um, instead of finishing on fret three, you can finish on um, fret five on the middle string because the um, sometimes the, the the melody goes up. Sometimes it sort of stays stays on that um, G note. So uh, let's use the slide again. So uh, we can slide into fret five on the middle string. This is actually a bit fiddly because I was just talking about the angle. If, if you if you're not angled in the other way, uh, you, you're going to catch string one. Then it sounds a little bit buzzy to say the least so you, you've got to try and get a hand position I'm still kind of sort of cradled round here and uh, I'm just trying to find an angle at which at which I can sort of angle that in you do that twice C to the hook and then we've just got the turn around So all of that cycle from the start of the verse, not, not the intro, from the start of the verse where we introduce the slide, uh, the vocals come in, it would be like this. So two, three, four. Pull in between. Pull in between, in between, in between. Strum. Again, pull in between. But uh, that's 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 basically it. I mean, what I'll do is I'll just very quickly run through the intro and uh, one verse, and you can just hear how all of that goes. But uh, you definitely need to practice it all in sections because it, it is. I, I personally think it's quite 
challenging, is, is, is quite varied, it, it can easily trip you up rhythmically. Um, but here we go, so we're going from, we're going all the way through from the C at the beginning, so we've got one, two, three, four. Again, C. Turn around. how you want to eventually finish the whole thing as well just probably with an up strum sorry sort of finish like that okay great so hope you enjoyed that lesson and uh, like I said uh, that is quite challenging so um, yeah take your time with it uh, dead slow to start with before you you know go up to those sort of driving um, tempos close to the original or the stones version and um, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and um, we're going to be dropping loads more videos for um, sort of famous songs like this one, uh, probably a few other lessons um, as well, just on basic technique uh, over the next few weeks. So uh, look forward to seeing you here again soon on Coda Guitar.